in the Bavarian Alps, not far from the Zugspitze, about an hour south of Munich, lies a picturesque village that seems as quiet and peaceful as any other village in the area. But this changes every 10 years when the world comes to visit. The most famous passion play in the world is performed here in Oberammergau. Alle seien gegrüßt, die mit uns folgen dem Erlöser, der kam zu heilen, was verwundet, zu retten, was verloren war. About 500,000 visitors come to see the passion play. Nearly half of them travel from abroad, many from the US, England and Scandinavia. Play director, stage designer, musical director, and of course the actors prepare for more than two years meticulously for this event. Over 100 performances of the almost five hour long passion play were planned between May and October 2020. The coronavirus, however, changes everything. The Oberammergau passion play is postponed by two years, only two months before the premiere. The new premiere date is May 14th, 2022, when life will return to the Passion Theater. The world's largest open-air stage holds almost 5,000 spectators, about as many as Oberammergau's population. Since 2014, the Passion Play has been part of the intangible cultural heritage of the UNESCO. The people of Oberammergau have kept the tradition of the play alive for almost 400 years. In 2022, 1,000 adult players are to be on stage together, plus stage workers, ticket vendors, and firefighters. In total, more than 2,000 citizens will be involved in the play. To be allowed to play, you either have to be born in Oberammergau or you have to have lived in the village for at least 20 years. Only children are exempt from the rule. 450 will take part in the upcoming performances. In order to portray the characters of the Bible appropriately, all participants let their hair grow, the men also their beards. This lends great authentic strength to the performance. In order to comprehend the biblical story in the best possible way, the ensemble even travels to Israel before rehearsals begin. Eindrucksmäßig war Jerusalem schon mit, mit die drei Weltreligionen auf einem Fleck. Es geht ab, es ist viel los, dann die Altstadt und was da eigentlich für mich was so total rauskommt, ist das, dass einem richtig klar gemacht wurde, dass Jesus ein tiefgläubiger Jude war. The dedication of the ensemble and orchestra benefits the performance. The play begins with the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, with hundreds of actors on stage. enters Jerusalem riding a donkey. Every child here knows the welcoming song by heart, and it is regarded as the anthem of Oberammergau. For most people in the village, the passion for the passion play begins with this scene. Being on stage is an experience passed on through generations. The passion play of 2022 will be different in terms of content and design. Director Christian Stuckel contemplates how to tell Jesus' story in a new way. I was so, when I first played Passion, I thought that Jesus must be loud, that Jesus must be kräftig, that Jesus is a total revolution. So, that had to do with my own age. And when you do this longer, then you think that maybe it's a little more that he is in his consequence, in his gradlinigkeit, that it's not about the loudness, but about a different figure. And then suddenly, it changes your own Jesus image, that it changes itself. Passion Play 2022 will be a little different in terms of design and design. Almost 400 years, the people of Oberammergau have been keeping the 2,000-year-old story alive. 
telling it in a contemporary way. This tradition started in the year 1633 with a vow. The plague came to Bavaria and death was upon the village. One year before the Passion Play, the people of Oberammergau remember their vow in the Plague Play. The vow is also solemnly renewed. Eingedenk des Gelübdes und getreu dem Verspruch unserer Vorfahren führt Oberammergau im Jahre 2020 das Passionsspiel auf. Unfortunately, something else happens. Of all things, a pandemic forces the people of Oberammergau to postpone the fulfillment of their plague vow. Am 16. Mai sollte die Premiere für die Passionsspiele 2020 stattfinden. Dies ist unter den gegebenen Umständen nun leider nicht mehr möglich. Wir verschirmen, wir werden irgendwann wieder weitermachen und wir sind guter Dinge. Aber jetzt bei mir jetzt gerade <lacht> gut, <lacht> ist so. Danke. Also der Moment der Absage war total hart. Also man weiß auch vom Kopf her, dass es das Richtige ist, dass jetzt das Passionsspiel abgesagt und verschoben wurde. Aber wenn es dann ausgesprochen wird und dann so ist, dann ist das erstmal ein echter Schlag in die, in die Magengrube. Ich glaube, dass äh, für uns alle das Wichtige ist, dass wir ein Ziel vor Augen haben, dass wir sagen, äh, wir lassen uns nicht entmutigen, wir gehen weiter, wir machen was. Und äh, was dann wirklich äh, sich verändert, das kann man vorher nicht beschreiben. Das geht erst, ich glaube, man wird dann nach einer Zeit nochmal loslegen, den Text wieder anschauen, man wird dann proben, man wird, die Schauspieler werden Dinge anders sehen, wie sie es vorher gesehen hat. Und deswegen kann man eigentlich nicht dort weiter machen, wo man aufgehört hat, sondern wir müssen bei der Probenarbeit ganz von neuem beginnen, müssen ganz neu loslegen und müssen schauen, was daraus wird. Es wird, glaube ich, für jeden noch mal eine andere, andere Wirkung und noch mal eine andere Kraft haben. Rehearsals for the 42nd Passion Play will now begin in December 2021. So, nehmt ihn hin und the story of Jesus' life, his suffering, death, and resurrection has to be filled with new meaning in the year 2022. This is what all participants of the play see as their utmost concern. A new generation of young actors is growing up in the village. They want to be integrated in the tradition of the Passion Play. To keep this tradition alive, to accept it as an incentive and a legacy, to rekindle and experience the passion for theater. That is what makes the Oberammergau Passion Play unique worldwide.